Oh, snap. You're a millionaire now. You know, finally made it. But now that you hit the millionaire status, now what? And for me, and for a lot of people, everybody always had that quest to become a millionaire. And everybody think, oh, when you, you know, become a millionaire, bells from heaven going to ring down as soon as you hit that seven-figure mark. But that's not the reality of it. The reality of it, of it is you're still going to feel like you're broke. I mean, you're still going to feel like that it's a lot more to do. You're going to have panic set in. And I'll get into panic in a minute. But what I mean by you're still going to feel broke is you've, depending on how you got to, you know, a million, uh, a million dollar net worth, that's what I'll use. If you took the slow grind, you know, investing maybe 401ks, you know, mutual funds, Roth IRAs, you know, saving all your nickels and dimes, going to Dave Ramsey method. Once you hit that million uh, million dollar net worth figure, bills still going to show up. Stuff is still going to happen. And then now you're going to think about once you get there, all it took you to get there is going to feel like, oh, it's not enough. Yeah, you're way off than you were before. I agree with that wholeheartedly. But the feeling internally is going to be, man, this is not enough. So the you know the millionaire figure sounded great back in the 80s and things like that but in 2023 a million dollars is still a million dollars but it don't spend like a million dollars in the 80s you had a million dollars you can live how in the hall and didn't have to worry about working today you have a million dollars if you make two or three wrong moves you sitting back at a couple thousand dollars so that's the first thing. You're still going to feel broke. There's no like euphoric moment. You know, you might, if you made the money the long way, you're not going to go buy a Lamborghini or nothing like that. You're going to be just like a millionaire next door. But if you made it quick and fast, let's say hit the lottery or, you know, you signed an NBA contract or you made a quick flip in cryptocurrency or whatever, as fast as you made it, that's probably how fast you're going to lose it because you don't have the appreciation for what it took to get there. So understand that. And then for those long grinders like myself that took time and took step, you're going to get there and you're actually going to go into panic mode. It's it's natural. It's going to happen. You're going to go into panic mode. And the panic mode is, oh, now I'm a millionaire. What do I do to preserve it so I don't go back under and then usually that's when you put your foot on the brake and you stop everything. Because now you're worried about protection. Now you want to get LLCs and all this stuff to uh, cover yourself. So you not because now you believe that you're uh, Kobe Bryant or somebody. But the truth of it is you're not. And the fear, uh, the fear on how you protect that million dollars is not how you got there. You have to keep putting your foot on the gas and keep striving to go higher. Because again, like I just said previously, a million dollars now is not that much. I mean, it's a hell of an achieve, achievement, but let's not get focused on that. But once you get to a millionaire, you will realize all these facts that I'm talking about. But panic mode will set in and you're going to be looking for ways to preserve it. And then you're going to slow down everything you're doing to make it happen. I mean, that got you there. So you're going to slow down because you you know worried about you might lose it. And then, again, you're going to realize that, all right, now I made it. Now you're realizing that, oh, it's I have a whole lot more to do because your ideal, when you're broke of what a millionaire is to actually becoming a millionaire, you're going to realize there's no million dollars just sitting in your bank account. You're going to realize your net worth is mo most likely illiquid assets like real estate or you can take money out of the stock market, but if you take money out of the stock market, then now that money is not working for you anymore. So these are the things that come along when you just hit that one zero 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 figure in your network. And it's going to be trying, you know, trying times in between. But the solution to all these, I look at it and I know I'm going on. I know Alex probably got about 20 questions, but I'll get to the solution in a second. Alex, what you got?
No, I mean, I'm I'm just listening. I mean, I haven't for everyone watching. I have not reached millionaire status yet. I mean, but I can definitely relate to it in what you're saying, because knowing what I have to go through, what I have been going through to reach a million, I can't imagine. I'm going to be the same Alex Kirby's still going to try. He's going to try to get me to go out, get sushi or something. I'm going to suggest how about we just, you know, go to the gas station, pick up some pork rinds or something. You know, I, yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna. I can't. We get a we get a can of tuna and put it on the pork <laughs> rind and that sushi. Yeah, yeah. We, we go to Publix, get a whole chicken, you know. But <laughs> but uh, you know, it's because a lot of people they think like, oh, if they had a million, they would just you know they think of all the stuff they could buy and what they would do with it. But the reality is like you made a good point comparing the type of millionaire. Are you a millionaire who made it quick? And if so, then yeah, that's probably what you would do. But if you took years of work and dedication nonstop to achieve that one million, it's going to be hard for you to think rationally or think that it's a rational decision to go out and just spend money and blow it because you've made it. Um, and it, it, it's completely true what you're saying about a million today is not the same million it was in the 80s. I mean, a million today, you still got to work. I mean, especially at my age, I can't just, re I mean, knowing me, how frugal I am, I could uh, figure out a way to retire off a million, but right. it's not the kind of right. lifestyle I would want um, to just retire off of a million. And I know there's people out there that do it, but you know, in the, in the fire community, um, uh, Financial independence, retire early, I think is what it stands for. Uh, but they, you know, they have a select budget where that million makes them X amount of percentage and they live off of that. But like I said, you know, that's probably not the lifestyle you want. And um, it's there's more work to do. One million is not, you know, it's not the uh, it's a hell of a of a achievement, like you said, but it's not the end goal. It should not be the end goal. And I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Because I, I just want to, I just want to expound on that part. Is that that million, that millionaire status, that net worth? Let's just say five hundred thousand is in a house, right? And then you got, let's just keep it simple. Let's say you got, you know, ten thousand in your checking and savings, and then the other four hundred and ninety thousand is in, you know, investments. The four hundred one k, the four hundred one k money, you can't take out without penalty or getting taxed to the hill, right? If you in a traditional IRA penalty tax to the hill, I mean, and then you probably got other investments like that. And then you, you know, as soon as you take some money out, then, you know, you lower your portfolio, but you still, so if you grind it and you just invest it in those vehicles, you know, paying off your house early, if that's what you choose to do. And then those investment vehicles I talked about, you're still living on whatever your paycheck is. That's what it is. I mean, some people think a millionaire is owe oh, a million dollars in the bank. Let's say you have a million dollars in the bank, and let's say you decide to quit, and let's say you didn't, you know, pay off, pay off all these things, and you just got a million dollars sitting in the bank. You still have to pay every day to live. And I mean, some people go, you know, get goofy and be like, "Oh, I need to move to California or New York. I'm a millionaire." So now that's you know four or five thousand dollars a clip a month. That's just for somewhere to live rent then you got utilities and all this other stuff so that million dollars can be gone in a year two max so when we say it's not really that much it's really not and most people that's you know millionaire next door that's a great book to read uh for people that don't know what millionaire next door is but millionaire next door they still live the same life that they was living when they started the grind it just it gives you the ability to be more comfortable and less pressure off you. And you can breathe a little easier that if an uh, economic downturn happened or, and you have a cushion to survive the blow, that's what a million dollars is. You don't really start feeling, you don't really start feeling like, oh, I got it. And I have money to you. You know, you cross the five, you know, $10 million threshold. That's when it's, you know, it feels like more of, all right, now I don't need the job or whatever, but just a million is not. It's not not saying people shouldn't strive to be a million, but hit the million and keep on going. Sorry, Alex, for cutting you off. No, yeah, absolutely. That's 
that's definitely true um yeah because once like you said once you hit that million if you get scared and everything you're gonna stop and my point was like i like how grant cardone and dan pena i've heard both of them talk about this where if your goal is to hit a million like that's all you're gonna hit and dan P pena uh he goes more in depth on this but like He's like, if your goal is to hit a 10 million, that's all you're going to hit. If your goal is to hit a hundred million, that's all you're going to hit. Like, don't focus on the number figure. Just keep work, you know, focus on the grind. And then, you know, being a millionaire, multimillionaire, whatever that that's going to come. But people shouldn't think that, um, you know, million, $1 million is the, is the end goal. Right. With all that being said, please. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you'll do uh, if you hit the millionaire mark. If you got any questions about what it takes or what is it like, hit, hit the comment section. We reply to every comment, good, bad, and ugly. So have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Hey, guys.